Okay, um, so this video, I'm going to give the definition of the Riemann integral of a function. Um, but at first, I've got to give a, a definition of something else. So a tagged partition, a tagged partition is a partition Uh, with tags. Okay, so this is going to be when we say tagged partition uh, for every, well, these are XK stars. So we have a partition P, which is uh, X0, that's equal to A. Then we have an X1 all the way up to Xn, which is equal to B. The tags are going to be numbers in each subinterval. So we know xk star, this will be in xk uh, to xk plus one, or xk minus one to xk. So these are basically going to be like sample points in a Riemann sum. And if f is a bounded function, we define its, its Riemann sum over this tagged partition. So I use the, I'm going to use the letter p to be most to mean both partition and tagged partition. I'm going to use them interchangeably just based on uh, just based on what I'm using. You just have to know by context what I'm talking about. So uh, right now, P is a tagged partition. The Riemann sum of uh, F over this tagged partition is going to be the sum K equals one to N F of X K star times the length X K minus x k minus one. And then we say a function is Riemann integrable um, if there exists a number, which I'm going to call fancy r i a to b f. So the Riemann integral of f uh, so if there exists a, a number um, such that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta such that if P is a tag partition with mesh size less than delta, whoops, less than delta, less than delta, then the absolute value of S of FP minus the Riemann integral or this number if this is less than epsilon. Um, now notice when we say, when we put this condition on the mesh size, we're not putting any condition on the sample points. So given any partition with mesh size less than delta, then this has to be less than epsilon uh, no matter what the tags are, okay? So this is the definition of Riemann integrability. It's more familiar than the one that you've seen uh, in calculus, uh, but it's uh, but sorry, it is it is the more familiar one. So the Darbo the the Darbo definition of integrability is probably not familiar to you. This one is probably more familiar to you, and I'm not going to prove it in this video. Uh, but in the next video, I'm going to prove the following theorem. The following theorem is going to say a bounded function. A bounded function f is Riemann integrable. Uh, let me just write that out so we're not confused. Is Riemann integrable um, if and only if it is Darbo integrable. Uh, in which case the integrals are equal. Uh, in this case, the integral that we talked about to begin with, the integral of f on a to b, is equal to the Riemann integral of f from a to b. And so basically, after we prove this theorem, we're never going to use this notation. We're always going to use this notation. Okay, And so this shows the notion of Darbo integrability and the notion of uh, Riemann integrability are the same. And so I'm going to prove this now. Or I'm going to prove this in the next video.